Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So many times I've made videos on this channel talking about intermittent fasting for weight loss, but I wanna talk about something that is way superior to intermittent fasting for weight loss, and that is what is known as extended water fasting. And if you're someone that doesn't know what extended water fasting is, it is very simple. All it is, is water fasting for multiple days in a row. So some people may do a two day water fast, a three day, four day, five day. Some people I've known have even done 20 day water fast, 30 days, 40 days. Or there is even a man a very long time ago that was recorded and documented online with his water fast that was in a hospital and fasted for a total of 365 days. And this man, was very, very obese. So this is why he could fast for that long because if someone like myself did, that has hardly any body fat whatsoever, I would turn into a complete skeleton, which would not be good for me at all. So now I wanna go on to explaining to you why extended water fasting is way superior to intermittent fasting for a weight loss. So for obvious reasons, when you are fasting for multiple days in a row and there is no food intake whatsoever, your body needs some type of fuel source. So what it is gonna do is go towards your body fat and start to burn your own body fat as fuel. So due to that effect being induced within the body, the longer that you fast for, the longer the fat burning benefits are going to be going on within your body. But with intermittent fasting, you're only normally fasting for around a 16 to 23 hour window, depending on what type of daily intermittent fasting method that you're doing. There's one known as the 16-8 method where you fast for around 16 hours, then eat for around an eight hour window. And there's one meal a day where you normally eat for around a one hour window and fast for around a 23 hour window each and every single day. And for obvious reasons, the longer that your fasting window is with daily intermittent fasting, the greater weight loss benefits that you're going to get. But if you're doing it for multiple days in a row, it's gonna be way, way superior to any form of intermittent fasting. But I wanna give a word of warning to everyone. You need to make sure that you are as knowledgeable as you possibly can be on this subject if you're gonna do an unsupervised water fast. So I would recommend learning as much information as you possibly can from many different resources online and through books. And I will actually put a couple of links down below for some water fasting books from some of the best experts on this subject. So you can learn all of the information so you know exactly what you are getting yourself into and so you can learn how to do water fasting in the most safe and effective way for you. But if you're someone that feels uncomfortable with doing it unsupervised, then you can do some research up online and find some sort of alternative healing center out there and you could go to one of these places and be supervised with a water fast. They are going to cost you quite a lot of money, but you have the choice between the two. So do what one feels right to you. And I'm someone that has been into water fasting for years and years and years, and the longest I've ever done is a six day water fast, and I felt very, very good from it. But make sure when you are doing extended water fasting, like I have in the past and many other people, that in most cases, you want to be resting and relaxing completely. So not working, not exercising, not having loads of stress and lots of things going on in your life. Because for obvious reasons, when you're doing extended water fasting, your body is not going to have a lot of energy. So you want to be as calm and relaxed as you possibly can because your body is also going into a very deep state of healing itself and if you're just forcing yourself to work and you've got a lot of stress going on it can be harder to actually sustain the water fast for as long as you want to do it and it can actually give you a lot of negative unwanted effects which i do understand some people do not have the choice to not work whatsoever and just take this sabbath so if you're in that situation you can do extended water fasting but what i'd recommend with anyone in any situation that is new to extended water fasting that you start off 
with shorter durations of fasting. So try one day and then you can build up to two days, three days, four days. And as you are just easing yourself into it, you can just be very used to fasting and just be aware of how it's going to affect you. And so you can feel comfortable with doing extended water fasting and you can just get your body used to it. So by actually building up over time, due to all the reasons that I've mentioned, you could then find that you could easily do multiple days of water fasting and still work your job if that's what you need to do. But always make sure with extended water fasting, you're being very mindful of your body because as with most Westerners in the world, we like to, a lot of us, be quite extreme and push things too far. And if you're pushing your body to fast longer than it actually wants to, it could have some negative unwanted effects on you. So this is something to be very mindful and aware of. So always be listening to your body and if you're doing extended water fasting and it feels that you are pushing it too far and you're getting into dangerous territory, then make sure that you break your extended water fast in the most safe way possible. And my last piece of additional advice I'd like to give to you is when you're not doing your extended water fast and you come off of it, that you do go back to daily intermittent fasting. Find the type of daily intermittent fasting method that works for you because by sustaining daily intermittent fasting after an extended water fast, it's gonna help you keep those weight loss benefits that you've got from doing that and so you can sustain them actually long term rather than losing the weight and not going back to daily intermittent fasting and then just gaining all the weight back. This is gonna stop you yo-yoing up and down. And also obviously make sure that you try and improve your diet and eat as much whole foods as you possibly can within the diet that you're eating. And by doing those things after extended water fast, as I mentioned earlier, daily intermittent fasting helps give you weight loss benefits as well. So you're gonna to continue to get those weight loss benefits after the extended or water fast. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down, I don't mind. And please share this video with anyone that you think wants to learn about anything in relation to what I shared with you today in this video. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. And if you subscribe, the type of videos you can expect to get from me are informational videos on daily intermittent fasting, extended water fasting, weight loss videos, calisthenics workout and progression videos, and many other different videos to share so much valuable information that can help you go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.